Hello and welcome to episode 23 of Saab Fever. My name's Frank and in today's episode we'll be removing the steering wheel from a Saab 95, although this procedure is also valid for the original generation 93. I'm rather lucky here in that I have a trained weapons expert on hand. It is worth noting that the airbag in the steering wheel is an explosive device. So first things first will be to remove power from the car, then wait approximately 20 to 30 minutes. The reason for waiting is just to ensure that all the computers are properly um, drained of power so that nothing can set off the explosive airbag. With the negative terminal successfully removed, we'll then wait for, as I said, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, now that we've had our tea break, um, there are two um, small rubber grommets either side of the steering wheel that need to be removed. With them out the way, that will reveal the um, captive hex nuts that are inside the steering wheel. Simply undo them with a suitable ratchet or allen key. Yep, that's it. Right. No, no, you stay there. Remember, I need this to blow up on you, not me. What? You said it won't blow up. What? You said it won't blow did, up. Did I? Yeah. Doesn't sound like the kind of thing I'd say. You don't want it to blow up on my face. <laughs> You're alright. There's now nothing holding the airbag in. Um, it kind of clips into place. I'll take over for this bit and just pull it out slightly. Um, don't pull it out all the way, you literally just want to free it. Uh, you can see here there are uh, two clips, a green and a yellow on the, t on the um, back of the airbag. Um, you really shouldn't leave it dangling like I have here, it was really it was just a convenient place to let it sit. In the back of the steering wheel there is the clock spring. Um, which is quite important for letting the electrical signals pass through the steering wheel to the um, the horn, the airbag, the volume up and down buttons, all of that. Um, if you break that, it's I think it's about a 50 or 60 pound part. And of course, uh, none of that will work. You'll get an airbag warning light if that doesn't work.
Okay, there's the explosive airbag successfully removed. Uh, you always feel a bit like a bomb disposal expert when you're removing that. The next job is to remove the central nut in the steering column. It's on there quite tight. I find it's um, uh, it can be done with a, a single person. You just uh, hold the steering wheel with your two knees uh, to stop it rotating. Well, obviously, the the Saab 95 doesn't have a steering lock, so the the steering wheel will turn freely even when the car's fully off. Here I am now, starting to hold it with my knees. Uh, in order to make sure we don't damage the clock spring, I'm not going to fully undo it just yet. I'm going to turn it a couple of times just to make sure it's free, and then I'm going to rock the steering wheel uh, forward and back, in essence, just to break the steering wheel off of the splines in the steering column. Uh, remove the metal backing plate there and gently release the uh, steering wheel now you can see here I'm trying to poke the cables through but in the end I give up and uh, release it from the clock spring instead that this is the part you don't want to go yanking these cables off or the steering wheel with the cables in them uh, otherwise you will break the clock spring. It's also worth noting that you should keep the clock spring facing upward rather than letting it turn. I mean, it won't turn, but you know, try to resist playing with it while it's off. Um, if you get the positioning wrong, um, you can break the clock spring when you go to, say, full left or right lock. The new steering wheel's on now, and we're just uh, starting to feed the cables back through everything. With the uh, plate back in place, we can now put the bolt back on. Now it's also worth noting here, um, I made a point of positioning the steering wheel itself dead ahead. Um, before I undid everything, and I'm making a point of putting it back on straight as well. Uh, again, just to, con just to make sure that we don't um, overstrain it. There's no point leaving it, um, you know, taking the old one off slightly crooked and then putting the new one on perfectly straight. Reclipping the airbag, clipping it into place, and now screwing it in. Place the little uh, rubber grommets there. The first test is to restore power to the car. Uh, haven't heard any loud explosions, so that's a good sign.
battery cover. And now we can try to start the car. You see I'm sitting to the side here. Uh, again, you, know, you always feel like a bomb disposal expert when you're messing around with these. And that's another job done. As always, thanks for watching.